Greetings and welcome once again to all the people taking the time to watch this video and follow this channel. It's me, the 8 Fall Champ, the Adult Fan of Lego Champion, here with another Series 25. It's set 7, 10, 45. It's just Goat Herd. And this is probably one of the more, uh, I don't know, popular or famous ones out of this series. And that is because of this goat here. Now, I will be honest with you, I think this goat piece is way overhyped for what it is. It's a nice piece. I'm glad I have it. Uh, but this is not like an especially cool animal to me. Uh, this is not an especially cool like print or anything. It's just plain white with dark brown horns and eyes printed on it. Uh, if it wasn't for the other ones, which are kind of a cooler print at least, uh, being so rare, I don't think people would be super, super excited about this. I think the figure is just kind of uh, a little, you know, average to above average. And people are excited about the goat and they're excited about this goat because of what the other goat is. So I think this is whole thing is a whole a little overhyped. Uh, when you look at the other accessories, the walking stick, the cheeses, those are very popular, not very popular, very common uh, pieces. It's just a brown one by three bar and a white one by one round tile. Uh, the tan backpack, very common. Uh, when you look at the figure, there's nothing really wrong with him, but there's nothing super special about him. I mean, yeah, the, the brown hood is nice. Uh, the double, the double printed face, two good faces, unique. And you can use them in basically any scenario. You know, I could put that in the Lego city and he'd look, uh, he'd blend right in. Uh, but again, it's nothing like special to me. When you look at the torso and the legs, those are printed, again, printed nice. Uh, those I couldn't put in the, in the Lego city per se though, without, uh, making him look a little weird. And there's plenty of weird looking stuff in the Lego city, but uh, this is like clearly supposed to be kind of a historical figure based on the prints, which again, I'm good with, uh, but it's just, it limits his uh, utilization rate uh, just a little bit. So um, yeah, again, like I said, there's nothing super special about the figure. There's nothing wrong with it, but uh, I just, I think the whole thing's overhyped. Maybe I had too high of expectations for this. Um, Ultimately, I'm going to only give it a grade of a B plus, and even that, I feel like I might be higher. Again, I feel like this goat is just really pulling things up, and it's really not that special to be pulling things up. So I'm giving it a B plus and questioning my own grade, but uh, you can tell me if I'm right, wrong, or somewhere in between, because, uh, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of cut myself off here. Uh, I got this uh, minifigure out because uh, he might get used in my next Lego City update, which I'm already working on. Uh, he might end up as a historical figure getting used as a project at work, uh, which I work at a school. So um, I, I have little minifigures that I use for, for lessons. So he might get used there. Either way, I thought this was a good time to build him. But uh, yeah, hopefully this has been a good three or four minutes of your life. Hopefully uh, you leave me a comment and tell me what should I use him for. Tell me if I'm rating, rate, grading him too high or too low or just right. Uh, hopefully I hear from you soon. Hopefully you hit the uh, like button. Hopefully you hit the subscribe button and hear from me again soon. And as always, thanks for watching.